How's it going, everybody? My name's John. I'm the head of marketing here at Podbean. And today, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can take your Zoom recordings and convert them into a podcast episode. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. How's it going, everybody? Thanks so much for checking out our video on how to take your Zoom recording and turn it into a podcast episode. We're going to show you how to set up Zoom to make sure... Zune. That Zune was something in 2000s. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and teach you the settings that you need to set up in Zoom in order to record right to your computer. We're going to make sure that you know exactly how you can get the best quality from Zoom and make sure that you can get that recording right from Zoom and make it a brand new podcast episode. Here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have Zoom installed on our computer. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and download Zoom. We're going to go to zoom.us and we're going to log in using our username and password. Once you're logged in, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the left hand column and we're going to click on that settings button. Now we want to go ahead and set up our recording preferences here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the recording header under that settings tab. So there are two different options that Zoom gives you for recording. You have the option to locally record your files, which means that you can save the files right to your computer or you can choose cloud recording, which will allow you to save your files to your Zoom account. My personal preference is I like saving them locally to my computer. It makes it a little bit quicker to import files into your DAW if you need to edit it, for example. So for this example, we're gonna make sure that we at least have local recording enabled. So now once we've gone ahead and enabled recording in zoom.us, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Zoom app. Once you have the Zoom app open, we're going to go up to the top left hand corner and click on zoom.us and click the drop down menu and select preferences. So this should bring up a brand new window here and we're going to go ahead and click on recording. So we have a variety of different helpful preferences that we can enable here. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and select the folder to store the Zoom files on. By default, Zoom will create a default folder in your documents. However, you can click the drop down menu to choose a new destination. Here's a pro tip from me. If you're using a desktop or have an external hard drive, you can always route your save destination to an external hard drive to help save space on your computer. We can go ahead and click record a separate audio file for each participant also. This is great if you want to have further editing power for each participant's audio in your post production. If we click optimize for third party editor, this is a great solution if you're also doing a video podcast and want to import the video into your video editing software of choice, such as iMovie or Final Cut Pro. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on new meeting. Obviously for this video here, we're gonna be clicking on new meeting for this test, but the steps are the same for a scheduled meeting as well. Now on the bottom bar, we're gonna go ahead and click the record button. And because we've both enabled record on this computer and record to the cloud, it gives us the option where we'd like to record to. We're gonna go ahead and click record on this computer. And once you're done recording, you're gonna go ahead and click stop recording. You'll see a message in the top right corner that says your file will be converted to an MP4 when the meeting ends. So we're gonna go ahead and click end in the right hand corner to end the meeting and then end meeting for all. So now your Zoom meeting has now been recorded and is being converted into an MP4. Once your Zoom recording has been converted, Zoom is going to automatically launch Finder into the folder where your recording has been saved to. Now what's great about Zoom is that Zoom doesn't just save the video file for you. It actually saves an audio file also as a .m4a file. So you actually don't need to rip the audio from the video in order to have an audio only file. That being said, we always want to make sure that our audio recording is an MP3 format so that it can be digested properly and distributed into all of the different podcasting distribution platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and others. So now we're going to talk about how to convert your Zoom call into an MP3. Now, there are many podcast hosts that will accept a variety of file types, but not all of the podcast directories will allow RSS feeds with mixed file types. MP3 is the accepted file type of choice across the overwhelming majority of the directories, so you want to make sure that your audio podcasts are in an MP3 format. 
we're gonna go over two different methods here. The first is if you are in an Apple environment, you can use iTunes to just convert the file, and this is not having to do any sorts of post-production before you upload. The other option we're gonna go over is using your DAW or your recording software of choice in order to add post-production, intro and outro music, and more. So this is gonna be the method if you're using iTunes to convert your file. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open iTunes on our computer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop the .m4a file of the Zoom recording into our iTunes. Once we've done this, we're gonna go ahead and open our preferences, which you can do by navigating to the top left-hand corner and clicking iTunes Preferences from the drop-down menu. Now we're gonna go ahead and click under General, Notifications, Import Settings. We're gonna go ahead and click on the Import Using drop-down menu and select MP3 Encoder. For the Best Settings drop-down menu, you can select Higher Quality, which is 192 kbps. You can also click Custom and further customize the quality options for your MP3. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and click OK. Once we've done all this, we're gonna go ahead and select the Zoom recording in iTunes, then navigate to the top left-hand side and click File, Convert, Create MP3 version. This will prompt iTunes to create an MP3 copy of your file in iTunes. Now if you right click or two finger click or secondary click however you prefer to think of it on the file, you can click show in Finder. This is now the file that you'll use to upload your podcast to your hosting platform. Check out this video here on how you can upload your podcast in only a few clicks using Podbean. We're gonna talk about how you can use your DAW to convert your .m4a file that you've recorded from Zoom and create an MP3 file. This is a great solution if you're looking to do any sorts of post-production to your recording, as well as insert any sorts of intro or outro music or other effects or advertising into your podcast episode. Today I'm gonna to be using GarageBand, which is free on your Apple laptop, but you can use any DAW you would like to, such as Audacity, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, and the myriad of different ones out there. So we're gonna go ahead and open GarageBand. Once we've opened GarageBand, we're gonna go ahead and click on Empty Project. Under Choose a Track Type, we're gonna go ahead and select Audio. Next, we're gonna open the folder where you've saved your Zoom M4A recording. We're gonna drag and drop this file into your GarageBand project. You can drag the file or files into the track that's already there, or drag them into the project window, and GarageBand will create new tracks for them. Here's a pro tip I wanna give you also. Make sure that you turn off the metronome and count in up in the top bar. If you don't, there will be a consistent clicking sound that will play throughout your podcast recording, and we don't want that. Once you've made all of your changes and you're ready to export your podcast recording, navigate to the top bar and click Share, Export Song to Disk. Use the Where drop-down menu to select your destination on your computer. And select MP3, selecting the highest quality. Next, we're going to go ahead and click Export. Once the export is completed, we're going to go ahead and click on the Finder icon and navigate to the folder that you chose as your destination. At this point, your recording has now been converted to an MP3, and this is the file that you'll use to upload your podcast to your hosting platform. Check out this video here on how you can upload your podcast in only a few clicks with Podbean. Thanks so much for checking out today's video, and hopefully this video now helps you take your Zoom to the next level and be able to use it for recording your podcast. For more information, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, leave some comments if you have any other questions. Follow us for more tips and tricks, and happy podcasting.